the blue agave, the primary ingredient in tequila. Every year, some 60 million of these plants are harvested to bottle Mexico's most famous spirit. The plant flowers and reproduces once in its life cycle, but the natural pollination process takes too long for commercial producers. So to speed things up and maximize alcohol output, companies take a shortcut. And most blue agave farmed today is cultivated from clones. Esta planta. The plant can produce identical smaller plants through its roots, which are clones identical to the mother. These can be obtained in three years of planting, whereas to produce seeds, the plant needs a decade. It boosts the industry's raw material, but for Carlos Camarena, who runs one of Mexico's oldest tequila distilleries, there's a serious long-term trade-off. After 150 years of not permitting the agaves to cross-pollinate and produce seeds, the plant has practically no genetic diversity, and that means that if a plague arrived that affected the crop, it would wipe the entire blue agave species off the map. Yet there is a solution. Bats. Specifically, the lesser long-nosed bat, the blue agave's primary pollinator, which until recently was considered a threatened species due to commercial agave production. For 12 million years, Bats and agaves have been linked, so now they are stuck. Agaves depend on bats for pollination, and bats depend on agaves for food. Better known as the Mexican Batman, Rodrigo Medellin is the founder of Bat Friendly Tequila, an initiative to save the blue agave and the bats that depend on the plant by encouraging natural pollination. If you as a tequila producer want to become bat friendly, all you need to do is to allow 5% of your plants to flower. With that, we, the University of Mexico, will come to your piece of land, make sure that the bats are coming in and visiting the plants, make sure that there is pollination, and finally that you as a producer use those seeds to replant your fields in the next generation. With that, you're in. In three years, Carlos Camarena has produced more than 300,000 bottles of bat-friendly tequila, identified by special labels to appeal to environmentally conscious consumers. He's also harvested over a million naturally produced seeds. Without bats, there is no tequila. We are making sure the natural cycle is complete and that tequila has a guaranteed future, not for our own benefit, but for that of generations to come. Now, the fight for tequila's future has become political, as the bat-friendly producers work to convince their industry colleagues of Mother Nature's vital role in Mexico's signature spirit. Alastair Bavostok, CGTN, Tequila, Mexico.